Hello everybody, my name is Fiona, Fiona Fitzpatrick, and I'm the 2021 Insurance Apprentice winner. I'm catching up with the top 12 contestants of the Insurance Apprentice 2022. And today I'm very excited to be speaking to a very familiar face to me, Masi Chava. Congratulations on your position in the top 12. Um, it's a super fantastic achievement to see you in the top again. Um, so you've completed the first round of the competition. Um, and because of getting the highest score in your session, you've been chosen to go through to the next round. So, so let's hear a little bit more about you. Tell us a bit about who you are, where you work, and what you do there. Um, so my name is Masachawa Mahaba. I am an accountant by profession. I currently work at Sedgwick, South Africa, as a business interruption loss adjuster. I've been doing this for a couple of months now. It's been awesome. That's really cool. So, Mr. Chavo, getting through to the top 12, you, you had an idea what was coming in a, in a virtual sense because we went through this together last year. Um, did you find it stressful even though you had an idea of how it was going to work? Or was it, again, all the nerves, everything that we went through last year, just take two? I think it might have been worse because I knew what to expect. And I also knew what I went through, you know, especially with, um, in my episode last year, I got eliminated um, during, what's the, is it not rapid risk, but the second segment at the 15 questions, I got eliminated there. So I was super, super nervous about that. Yes, because you were the one of the, one of the wild cards last year, weren't you? I was, I was. And you're not, you're not so wild this year. No, I think I've grown. <laughs> <laughs> so, so how do you feel about reaching the top 12, not being a wild card, being in the position that you're in? How does it feel? Good. It really does. Um, I was a bit nervous. You know, you go in and you're like, there's an expectation that you will at least make it into the top 12 because you were here last year and you were in the top 10 and you don't want to disappoint yourself and other people who are obviously going to be rooting for you. Um, so I feel awesome. And I'm really glad that this time I made it on merit. <laughs> so there's no question of whether I deserve to be here or not. No, it's it's an awesome merit, and and I'm glad I'm glad to see you again because I think you had such a great personality. Well, I think you've got such a great personality, but it shines through on the screen, and your smile and your laugh and everything was so infectious last year. And I totally was like, love this, I love this girl so much. Um, <laughs> and you know, it, it was it was so cool to be on that journey with you, and it's cool to see you going on it again. So, um, you know, it's it's very very exciting. So. What what are you what are you most nervous about for for the upcoming for the upcoming challenges that 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 lie ahead? Sure, I think it's always always fear of the unknown. I might know the sponsors. I might have done this last year, but chances are the topics are not going to be the same. The challenges are not going to be the same. Are they again going to be outside of my field of expertise? Like it's it's very nerve wracking. The the mm -hmm. the unknown fear of the unknown and I, I like control so it's a bit of a mm. Mm. yeah it is it's 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 you know it's kind of taking it for, for me at least it was taking it as it comes and then mm. addressing what what the the problem or the challenge is that faces you at the time but you you kind of just have to go with the flow and trust the process and all of those yes. uh, all of those things you know um so do, do you, saying that, I mean, you've been through the virtual format before. We're obviously doing it virtual again this year. Do you like the virtual format or would you prefer to be in person? How, how are you feeling about the virtual environment? I think I've gotten used to the virtual environment, but from a personal point of view and in everything that I do, I do prefer the live in person. I get to be around people, feed off people's energies and, it just looks much cooler, I must say. And I get to dress up and people actually see my outfit because now I dress up and all people see are my shoulders. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll ask you to show your shoes at the end of this if you're not wearing your slippers in this quick interview. I'm wearing my slippers. 
<laughs> and pants that look weirdly, weirdly like pajama pants, but they're not pajama pants. Okay. So those are those are the best, though. Those are the best uh, Zoom casual clothing that you can oh, buy. My goodness. Business on top, casual at the bottom. <laughs> so, you know, um, going into the challenges ahead, I mean, you mentioned that you might know who the task sponsors are. Who who are you who are you most nervous for the challenges that will be brought forward um obviously taking into account the challenges that we faced last year um and then with the with the challenges that lie ahead for you now are you nervous about one in particular it has to be marsh guys four years in a row marsh has brought it and i think they, they won't disappoint this year either i think i'm most nervous look i'm nervous about everyone because there's something new in the market every year but i think marsh must be the one that scares me the most yeah they, they certainly didn't go easy on us last year I can mm-hmm. tell you. um but yeah I, I think i think everybody brings all the sponsors bring something different and it challenges a variety of different skill sets. Um, yes. and, and sometimes being comfortable and familiar with something makes it harder. So do you have Absolutely. any predictions on, on the topics that the challenges are, that the challenges are going to bring about? Um, is there anything that's very prevalent that you think is definitely going to come up? I think the July 2021 riots. Um, with Sassri as a sponsor here, I think we're going to have to answer some very hard questions about the Sassri policy and their response to looting and generally the situation in the country at that time. Yeah, it was, it was definitely like it touched all sorts of sides of our lives. I mean, obviously not notwithstanding the working environment as mm. being insurance, um, but the, it's far, the consequences far extend that um yeah you know, it's not just work it's 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 our lives it's it's our country um so I think it is a big topic and I'll be interested to see how they bring it up and what sort of challenges they bring with yeah. it. look I think I, w- I would I would love to see it in a more socioeconomic instead of insurance perspective just on the way that it touched our lives it touched the economy the after effects you know the ripple effect what happens after the incident mm. I'll be very interested to see. I'll be watching. I'll keep my eyes glued to the screen. (laughs) (laughs) So what did you do to prepare yourself to get to um, get to the elimination and then get through the elimination to be here today in the top 12? What type of preparation did you get up to? So as just like last year, research the sponsors, brushed up on a little bit of my basic insurance knowledge. But I also had to kind of psych myself up and be on some, don't get into your own head again. What everyone else is doing means nothing. How everyone else is performing means nothing. It's about you and what you expect of yourself. And I think that was the difference. The fact that I quieted the noise and it was about me. Mm. Ultimately, you're your biggest challenger um, at the end of the day. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And if I can beat who I was last year, then... I've achieved something great. Mm, that's, that's an awesome outlook. I love that. So why did you enter saying all of that? I mean, we, we, we went through it last year and you've taken the step to enter again mm-hmm. and to get through again quite well. To get through now <laughs> is a huge achievement. Um, but why? I mean, why, why, did you, why did you enter again? I feel, you know, it, it felt like a loose end the manner in which I left the show and everything. And I I just wanted to tie it up into a cute little bow, very nice and neat and say that, look, I've done this. I've put everything into it. And I think that's the difference. Last year, there was a little bit of me that wasn't in it. You know, work was hectic during that time. So I couldn't really give myself properly to the process. And I think this year, despite work being hectic, I've just decided that, look, compartmentalize work is in this corner for now and let's look at the competition that's super exciting i really look forward to seeing where it takes you so so with all, of, with all of that being said would you motivate other people within the industry to enter the competition and and why i mean what value have you got out of it thus far um yeah like why why would you 
why would you tell other people to enter? Because I know you would say they should. Definitely. I would say if you have not done this, you need to do it at least once. Um, personal growth, career growth, and just as a cherry on top, you get to meet the most amazing people and have fun with them, even beyond the competition, you know. Um, now and then you crack a joke with someone that you would have never met if it wasn't for this competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's one of the, yes, notwithstanding everything that I got from the competition, but that was mm -hmm. one of the best things I got was the contacts and the connections of very like-minded, but also vastly different people to who I would normally uh, connect with. Um, yes. And, I mean, I got to meet you. I mean, already a winner. You yeah, know no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think... That is, is and still will be my biggest takeaway. I just really, I had such a good time and I met exactly people I would never in a normal social situation gravitate towards. And it also shows you the error in our ways that we're so comfortable with what we know that we never move outside sort of the comfort zone and this forced us to do that. Yeah, definitely. I, I agree with that. 100% behind that statement. Um, so, I mean... Are you planning on winning? Is that why we're Absolutely. here? We are here to win. Absolutely. And no, I you... owe it to myself to win. <laughs> <laughs> and what would winning mean for you? Um, so outside of the prizes, which are awesome, and I would love all of them, especially the money. <laughs> um, I think winning is, is so impactful for me because I feel like if I win, I have something to pass on to other people. A little bit of knowledge that I can share, I get given a platform to reach so many people that I wouldn't reach otherwise, and that's really it. You want to at least make an impact on one person. And if you're given a platform to do that, I would love something like that. That's awesome. Well, Mr. Chava, yeah. thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I always love catching up with you. And I know you've got a lot of preparation to do. Um, I'm holding thumbs for you, but I have to hold thumbs for everybody. So, um, <laughs> a betrayal. <laughs> no, I, because you're all such you're all such incredible people. You're going to end up in the same situation that I was last year, and I didn't want anybody to go home ever. But it is a competition, um, and it has to happen. Yeah, yeah. So I'm rooting for you, and you know, uh, you know, in your corner as as always. Um, so, and, and well done for entering because I know it's a big step again to so go through it. And congratulations really from the bottom of my heart for getting to the top 12. This time you're not wild. Um, <laughs> I mean, you might be a wild child, but you're not wild. Um, well, God. <laughs> <laughs> and I really, really look forward to seeing where this journey takes you. Um, so thank you for your time and, and have a great day. Thank you.